hello everyone welcome back to my unreal engine um, open world tutorial series so these days i'm working on this uh, cell shading effect and today i'm going to do some effects to this do some changes to my cell shader post process material so that the sky rendered like this in previous case it was different from the what from what you see here now it's more blue looks like more tune effect so yeah that's the part i'm going to cover today and this episode is sponsored by these generous patreons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me right now as you can see here my sky is not blue but uh, for a cell shaded game it would be cool if the sky looks more blue than this so the reason that it does not look much blue is this in my post process material that i use for cell shading i have added a node here to represent this fog and as this fog is I have implemented in, su in such a way that when the distance is higher the fog is increased so that's what happens in this part so more closer more, the more further the object is from the camera it will be more closer to this fog color so yeah now what I have to do is I need to cut off that effect for the sky so that the sky will have the original color uh, that is not affected by the fog so the fog will be only affected to the objects in the more near range so right so for that maybe how should I go about that uh, right so here this scene depth I think I can do something like this let's add another if node like this so if this uh, uh, not this one if the scene depth is larger than a certain value I'll promote this one I'll call it for cut off distance and I'll set the default value to maybe 50,000 If the if A is larger than B, then I'll just directly use the scene color. Otherwise, I'll use this. And what's the error? Input A must be a type of float. Ah, uh, right. okay uh, the problem is this one it comes as a RGB and this one is not so let's yeah we can fix it like this let's add a component mask with the RGB components and then plug it all right and let's apply right now the color of the sky is restored as you can see it's blue it does not it is not affected by the for color so now I need to match this sky color and this uh, distance for color otherwise I'll see 
some discontinuity because this should match with this color so maybe we can pick the sky color like this or oh, should make it darker white oh, I think that's cool this is enough yeah okay So this is the final output. The color of the sky is back with blue. I think I should make it a little more blue. Can I do that here? No, ah, right. The colors are determined by the sun's position. Maybe I should disable that. But if I do that, mm, right. Now let's see. No, no, I think I should keep it like before. Okay. So, yeah, that's it for today. The sky is again blue. Uh, but I need to, I really need to make it look more like a cell shared defect. Because this sky looks too realistic for now. And, yeah, I'll work on that in the next episode. And I'll stop this episode here. Right, so anyway, I did some tweaking to the skybox uh, outside the recording. So I disabled this colored determined by the sun's position and changed the zenith color and horizon color and cloud color and overall color like this. So I could get this color and also I reduced the cloud opacity a little bit. Uh, I think having something like this is good and also I changed the fog color to blue that somewhat matches with the zenith color and the overall color okay so this is the final result and yeah this is not all I'm going to continue with this till I make it some make an effect that is satisfied I can satisfy with and yeah okay so I'll stop this episode at this point